Happy Easter po sa inyong lahat. Ngayon po ay pinagdiriwang natin ang ating tagumpay. Tagumpay ng liwanag sa kadiliman. Tagumpay ng buhay sa kamatayan. Tagumpay ng pag-ibig sa kasamaan. Pero itong resurrection, itong muling pagkabuhay, ay hindi po inaasahan. Kahit na ito'y sinabi na ni Jesus sa kanyang mga alagad, ngunit hindi pa nila may digest. Ano bang ibig sabihin ng muling pagkabuhay? Kaya nung siya'y namatay, 
para sa mga alagad, tapos na siya. Ang iba'y umalis na, ang iba'y nagkulong na lang sa bahay, takot na makilala na sila'y mga alagad ni Jesus. Ang nagtsagang bumalik at dito sa ating Ibanghelyo, nakita natin si Maria Magdalena. Siya ay bumalik upang magbigay ng respect kay Jesus na namatay. Sa ibang kwento pa nga ng Ibanghelyo, ayon kay San Mateo, kay San Marcos, at kay Lucas, ang mga babae bumalik sa libingan na may dala-dala na mga langis, na mga pabango, upang ibigay ang paghahanda sa bangkay na hindi nila nagawa nung siya'y dali-daling inilibing. Kaya hindi naman sila umaasa ng muling pagkabuhay. Kaya nasurpresa si Maria Magdalena nung makita niyang bukas ang libingan. At nung makita niyang wala doon ang bangkay. Kaya ang unang balita niya kay Pedro at sa kasama niya si Juan ay ninakaw ang bangkay. Hindi niya alam kung saan inilagay ang buong akala pa niya na si Jesus ay patay. At ganoon din po yung mga alagad. Nung sila'y dali-daling pumunta, patakbong pumunta sa libingan, at nakita nga nila na nandoon yung kayo na, ibinila, na ibinalot sa bangkay. Ngunit wala yung bangkay. Hindi nila maintindihan. Hindi nila maintindihan kasi kulang pa ang kanilang pananampalataya. Mga kapatid, ang muling pagkabuhay ay nangyari. Pero ito'y maiintindihan lang ng mga taong nananampalataya. It is faith that enables us to see the wonder, the surprise of the resurrection. Kaya ngayon po, na pinagdidiwang natin ang muling pagkabuhay ni Jesus, hayaan natin masurpresa tayo sa mga ginagawa ng Diyos upang tayo'y iligtas. Kailangan po natin ito sa ating panahon ngayon na maraming mga tao'y nalulungkot, nalulumbay, nahihirapan. Ngayon po ang panahon ng pandemic, marami nawawala na ng pag-asa, maraming nakakasakit, may mga nababalitaan na tayong namamatay, buong pamilya ang tinatamaan ng COVID-19. Marami na wala na ng trabaho, lalong-lalo na yung nabubuhay lang sa pang-araw-araw na trabaho. Ngayon naka-lockdown tayo. At ano yung kinabukasan natin? Mga batang hindi na nakapagpapatuloy sa pag-aaral kasi wala ng trabaho yung mga magulang. Hindi nakakasigurado sa pag-aaral. Dahil hindi pa tayo sigurado na ano ba ang resulta ng online na pag-aaral na ito. Mga taong hindi nakaka-adjust kasi wala silang internet, wala silang gadget, takot sila sa mga bagong teknolohiyang ito. Kaya marami po'y parang nawawala na ng sigla, nawawala ng pag-asa. Mga kapatid, nandyan ang Diyos na mangliligtas. May kinabukasan. Dadating po ang liwanag. Kaya huwag po tayo mawala ng pag-asa. Iyan po ang mensahe ng Easter. Hayaan nating surprisahin tayo ng Diyos. Kumikilos ang Diyos. Hindi siya tulog. At lalo tigit, hindi siya patay. Siya ay kasama natin. Kaya kung tayo naniniwala, 
sa muling pagkabuhay, hindi tayo nawawala ng pag-asa. Dahil sa hindi tayo nawala ng pag-asa, tayo patuloy na nagsisikap. Patuloy tayong bukas sa pagtulong sa ating kapwa. Kasi alam natin, pagpapalain ng Diyos ang nagbibigay kaysa ang tumatanggap. Mas buksan natin ang ating sarili sa iba. Kapag binubuksan natin ang ating sarili sa iba, ibig sabihin, binubuksan natin ang ating sarili sa pagkilos ng Diyos sa ating buhay. Kaya happy Easter po sa inyong lahat. Ito'y talagang happy kasi sa kabila ng kamatayan, may buhay. Sa, ki- sa kabila ng pandemic, may bagong mundo na darating. Tanggapin po natin itong bagong inaalok ng Diyos sa atin. Hindi pa natin alam kung ano ito. Pero tayo nakakasigurado, we, people of the resurrection, na darating ang bagong buhay. Yes. Yeah. 
The Lord is risen. Happy Easter to all of you. What a great day. What a glorious day. This is a day of victory and rejoicing. It was just the other day when Jesus was crucified and died that we were dejected and sorrowful. What now? What do we have to look forward to? Even Peter and some other disciples went back fishing. Then yesterday, we reflected on what had happened. The re reality of Jesus' death is sinking in, and the uncertainties are creeping up. What happens now? How do we go forward on the mission entrusted to us? Where are we to go? What are we to do? But today, Mary of Magdala tells us someone has taken the Lord from the tomb. Peter and John have gone to the tomb and discovered it empty. What are we to make of all this? Then Mary later tells us, I have seen the Lord. Could it be? Yes. Did not Jesus say he would rise from the dead? It is true. The Lord is risen. This is a most momentous event in the life of our faith. By rising from the dead, Jesus conquered death itself. Death had no power over him. Indeed, as Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. By rising from the dead, Jesus crushed the head of the serpent. Satan and his demons were already having a grand party in hell. But now, the one who thought he was the victor has become the vanquished. Jesus has escaped his ultimate assault. By rising from the dead, Jesus won for us our salvation. He paid the price for our sins. He redeemed us from the dominion and power of the evil one. We have been set free. Set free to do what? We need to learn a number of things. First, the ugliness of sin. It was our sin that put Jesus on the cross to suffer a horrible death. And every time we sin grievously, we again nail him to the cross. How can we ever do that to our Savior and Lord? We should ourselves put to death what is earthly in us. Immorality, impurity, passion, evil desire, greed. Put away anger, fury, malice, slander, obscene language, lies. We no longer need to give in to the demands of our flesh, to the allures of the world, or to the temptations of the evil one. We have been set free by the blood of the Lamb. Second, no matter how dark the world is, no matter how grievous the sins of people all around us, no matter how we are being overwhelmed by a tsunami of evil, there is always hope because there is God and because Jesus is risen. Jesus is the light that dispels the darkness. Jesus is the guide for those who have lost their way. Jesus is the truth that refutes all the lies of the enemy. Jesus is the life that overcomes death. In Jesus, there is restoration, renewal, and revival. The third truth we need to know is that the spiritual conflict between good and evil continues to rage. Satan has been defeated, yes. The head of the serpent has been crushed, yes. But its tail continues to thrash about and is still able to bring many to damnation. In fact, knowing that his final end is near, Satan has become more desperate, more vicious, more determined to bring as many down to hell with him. So the spiritual war continues to rage, and we are right in the middle of it. What then are we to do? First, we firmly decide to be on the side of Jesus. You want to be a winner, don't you? You want to be with a stronger man against a strong man. You want to be assured of heaven. So fix your eyes on Jesus. Put him in the center of your life and your home. Grow to be his disciple. Trust fully in him. 
strive to grow in holiness. Second, look to serve Jesus. Disciples are called and formed in order to be used by the Master. We are not just to receive, but we are to give. We are not just to ensure the well-being of our loved ones, but the well-being of the Lord's loved ones. That means everyone else. And so as we ourselves are growing in living Christ, we need to be sharing Christ as well. Jesus wants salvation for all on the cross. God wants everyone to be saved. We are the ones sent as His instruments to proclaim this salvation to others. There is no one else. As Jesus has entrusted the continuation of His work to His disciples. If the laborers present themselves and allow themselves to be used, then there will be an abundant harvest. Third, as we respond to Jesus' call, be ready for challenges, for trials, for oppression and persecution, for suffering and pain. There is Good Friday before Easter Sunday. We follow in the footsteps of Jesus, and so we follow to the cross. As disciples, we are to embrace our crosses daily. But the cross, an instrument of torture and death, is also the means of victory and salvation. As such, we are to rejoice in the cross of Christ. We are to look to exaltation of the cross, as Jesus gives us the privilege, even in a small way, to share His cross with us. We as MFC have our call and our mission. This is the very mission of Jesus. This is the work that is crucial in the world today. This is about the salvation that God Himself won for us and which we are now privileged to share with all others to the very ends of the earth. The Lord is risen. He is risen indeed. Happy Easter to you all and God bless you always. shines for all to
The story ends not in darkness. The story ends not with our sins, The story ends not on the cross. The story ends in glory. The story ends in victory. The story ends in resurrection. Our Savior conquers death and overcomes it all. From the darkness of our sins, He has forgiven us. From the bondage of our failures, He has freed us. From the hopelessness of our hearts, He has redeemed us. From the way of the cross, He has brought us to light. Christ is alive, and we are never the same again. He is risen, and hope remains in our hearts. As He was faithful, may we be faithful. As He loved us till His last breath, may we love Him to the very end. As He surrendered in obedience, may we also say, Thy will be done. Our lives bear this good news of hope, a message that is meant to be shared, a message that must be declared to all. We are chosen to bring this light to the world. We've been gifted with Jesus, and so let us give Jesus. Let us make Him known to the ends of the earth, to being missionary families of Christ. Let us give our yes. Thank you, Jesus, for fighting for us, for enduring the cross for us, for dying for our sake, for loving us, for saving us, for rising for us, for being the living hope in our hearts. You have loved us with your everything. We give our everything to love you in return. To your mission, Lord, we give our yes. Today we bear.
Thank you. 